And welcome to this GraphCore and 2CRSI webinar. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss with our two speakers. We will see how IPU systems open up opportunities for AI engineers and researchers worldwide to make new discovering thanks to the Intelligent Processes Unit technology. Of course, uh, we will also learn more on the partnership with 2CRSI and GraphCall. My name is Sebastian Germain. I'm in charge of global go-to-market at 2CRSI Group, and I will be your moderator for today's session. If you have any questions, please ask them in the Q&A box on the screen, and we'll answer them at the end of the session or later on via email. Of course, this webinar is being recorded. We will send you the recording link afterwards so you can watch this talk again at any time. Now, um, I would like to introduce uh, our speakers for today's webinar. We have with us Fabrice Moisan, SVP Regional Sales and EMEA in Pacific Asia at uh, GraphCore, and Joseph Gonachon in charge of business development at 2CRSI. And uh, more specifically, he deals with startups, scale ups, and innovative companies. So, without further ado, Fabrice and Joseph, I hand it over to you. Enjoy the session, guys. Thank you, Thank you, Sebastian. So, hi everyone. As, I say, as, uh, as Sebastian said, I'm Fabrice Mazan. I've been with GraphCore for almost four years, uh, which is a lot for a campaign that was created in, in uh, 2016. And I'm in charge of, of, of developing the business in uh, EMEA and, and Asia PAC and, and, and uh, working with partners such as uh, 2CRSI. And I'm very happy to be talking to you today. Hi, hello. Uh, uh, my name is Joseph Gonachon. Uh, I'm managing business development and um, startup innovation activities here at CSI Group. I'm very excited to be here as well uh, when we work uh, on, on GraphCore matters. Uh, uh, pleased to, to introduce uh, to all the partners this, uh, this great new technology. Thank you, Sebastian. So maybe we should go th through a quick introduction of GraphCore and and and, uh, and then later on we'll discuss about the uh, the joint to CRSI GraphCore opportunity. So in, in a nutshell, GraphCore is a company which was created by, in 2017, and and the goal of the company was to create a new generation of uh, AI processor um, for um, AI machine workloads, uh, and and uh, and the, the 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 chip was developed from the ground up by people who've been developing processors for the, over thirty years, and, and in fact some of them came from Nvidia. Um, on top of this hardware, the chip, we are developing a software stack, and uh, that we call Poplar, and uh, Poplar is our SDK. Uh, in the, as well as our application stack. In the, and finally, our go-to-market strategy is, is really to build, we're building systems, we're building servers together with some of our partners and, and, and 2CRSI is one of them. Um, quick background on the company, but really when I talk about new um, kind of hardware, we're talking about a new way of thinking, machine learning workloads. And, and in fact, some of the early investors of the company were some of the big brains behind uh, um, AI and, and, and people from OpenAI, for instance, um, invested uh, uh, in run A of GraphCore, um, Demis Sabis, who's also the founder of DeepMind. So you see lots of very, very small people and because GraphCore, it's all, uh, GraphCore, we think about innovation and we're not thinking about only short-term um, problems to be solved. We're also thinking about what's going to happen, the unknown, in machine learning for the next 10 to 20 years. So that's that's the background be, behind the, the creation of the, and the architecture of the, the chip that GraphCore created. So in this partnership, we, um, at TUSRSI, we, we are used to work uh, mainly coming from the HPC world and um, every um, matters related to calculation. At the end, we, we achieve to balance the uh, uh, to, to create a group where where we understand how to create the machines that would be able to support such a such workloads and the ability to cool it and to cool it properly 
and in this environment uh, today to suicide group is a is is a, is a story about entrepreneurs so um, it was created at first by uh, Alain Vilbut, which is here on the picture and with uh, and, and the meeting with all the part of a group like uh, uh, Manoj from uh, Boston and um, Manuel Vani from from Green Data, where we kind of created a whole brand, a whole ecosystems to uh, manage all different parts of AI from the infrastructure point of view, from the data center point of view, from the deployments point of view. At the end, this is the uh, 360 uh, understanding of, uh, of AI from Tusarisai. And for us, it was important to work with uh, what would be the future, what we, we, we see every day on the market and that um, we, we have to, to, to pursue with them to, to understand what's going to be deployed in, a, in, a, in, a, in the next few years. So this is why we, try, we wanted to work with GraphCore. And in order to do this at the end, this is what we are trying to achieve. It's to, to make custom made hardware with such a great innovation such as the APU. Um, make it as dense as possible in order to save space and to uh, bring the best compute power in a in, in sole place uh, and to adapt to every um, every environment we can be. It can be in data center, it can be in just a, a small room uh, in, a, in a university or laboratory at the end to fit the right, um, uh, the, the right port to such uh, environment and the ability to cool it properly uh, in the most sustainable way. So it can be with a different type of cooling um, technology, such as immersion cooling that we can see here, or with um, with, with uh, liquid cooling, all the and and be even able to reuse the energy out from it from from the from the heat, which is um, brought by this kind of systems. At the end, it's to to provide the best compute power possible to to uh, to the different data scientists and uh, and the AI community, but also the ability to do it in a more proper way in order to not destroy the planet out of it. So, really, when I talked about innovation earlier, we see that in in machine intelligence. Um, it's it's there's a lot of, of changes and, and it's it's actually moving super fast. You know, ten years ago it was all about you know image detection and the data was were pretty scarce and scarce and, and difficult to, to get and, and was about supervised uh, learning. Then um, we, we saw the revolution around uh, natural language understanding. Um, you know, speech recognition and and uh, and it's really about the machine <clears throat> starting to learn by itself and and it's all about unsupervised learning and and the way we see the future is is really about you know, the, the the machine intelligence getting as close as possible uh, as the, the 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 human brain and and uh, and you know we 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 saw over the last few years that the, the the size of the the ML model um, explodes by a, a factor of, of, of a thousand, uh, and 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 the, the 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 data sets are just you know exploding as well. So it's 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 really the the, the, the big um, revolution that's in moving forward. So for this kind of revolution and evolution, of course, a new uh, silicon new processor was required because lots. You know, the compute lots more compute is, is is required, and you know we moved ten years ago from CPUs to GPUs, and and GPUs done a great job um, running some of the machine learning um, workloads. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, GPUs are have been built for graphics and don't bring their full and not fully optimized for the new generation of machine learning models, and that's why GraphCore. Um, our CTO, Simon Knowles, uh, decided to create this piece of silicon, this processor that would look like a bit like a, a, a human brain, which, uh, you know, um, uh, neurons and, 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 and synapses. And, and that's, that's the IPU, the uh, intelligence processing unit. 
So I mean, what makes um, the IPU so different? It's it's really about the way we 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 use the the the, the, the model parallelism. It's a uh, the, the, the IPUs is a, it's really a, a MIMD machine, um, so it's 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 really a you know it, uh, which is different than than SIMD machine like like GPUs, multiple instruction, uh, multiple data uh, versus single instruction, and, uh, and so we we the fact that we have thousands of processors on our chip enables that. The the, the second big difference with the with the GPUs, um, it's it's the fact that we have uh, memories outside our, our we have memory inside the chip. While GPUs, it's 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 really you have this bulky HBM um, uh, memories, which you know have the limitations because the throughput is, is is limited and and they consume significant amount of, of energy. And there's some uh, there's some uh, latency constraints that you don't have on a chip, on an architecture like ours, where the, the thousands of processors I was um, mentioning before, we actually are tied to some tiny pieces of SRAM or memory. And the entire memory is, 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 is contained on, a, on the chip. So it brings you know, massive benefit um, in terms of, of, of uh, throughput performance as well as, uh, as, as, uh, as latency. So these specs are actually but what was interesting about how to understand AI and how to pursue AI for the next few years and uh, what will be about, uh, later on, uh, no one knows, but uh, GraphCore with this new chip has achieved what we wanted to show to, to, to every AI and machine learning um, data scientist is we used CPUs uh, to do that at first for sequential calculation and it was okay. We tried out with uh, GPUs and um, it did accelerate it, but GPUs were not made to for, for parallel calculation. It was at first made for graphic designs and, uh, and gaming, that sort of, uh, of activities. Yes, they did, they, they did adapt it to other different type of usage, but at the end for machine learning and very high parallel kind of calculation, we needed something new. And this is what GraphQL understood. It's to not try to adapt something, to do something kind of uh, have some resemblance with. It was to create something from the ground up with just the fact to think we are creating a chip not for gaming. It will not be made for, for a sequential calculation. It will be made for AI workloads and especially everything related in, on, on machine learning activities at first, at least for now, <laughs> we'll see later on. <laughs> so Fabrice, I let you okay, uh, commend the, yeah. your machines and I will- Yeah, exactly. Later on. Yeah. yeah, so let, let's talk about um, systems and, and hardware. So this is what the, this is the building block of a, of a graph core system. It's, it's uh, what we call IPU machine and IPU machine uh, M2000 is a one year machine with four of our IPU uh, chip. And as you can see here is basically those IPUs plus what we call a gateway chips that uh, um, connects those machines to the chips, sorry, to um, additional uh, DDR uh, memory. And, and what it does as well, it's, it connects um, the, 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 this machine to an external um, CPU system that runs our, uh, our popular um, software, and and this is a machine which is uh, uh, of course upgradable and uh, and scalable, and uh, and you can you can uh, build small system or larger system. But the smaller systems like this one is is still a one petaflop IPU compute machine, so pretty pretty performant. Um, and and based on this machine, well, we together with uh, to CRSI, we've been able to build this what we call the the, the Pod 16 uh, system, which is four of these IPU machines that we we stacked together. And remember, um, we call it Pod 16 because one machine is four IPUs, so four machines is, is 16 IPUs. And 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 we, we we've added the release um, 
um, uh, CPU server that runs our popular server on top of it. So it's a five year machine, which is, you know, highly perform, performing and, and brings uh, everything that uh, innovators of, of people want to develop uh, and machine learning uh, models for uh, are interested to get. And it's and this is something we're doing together with, uh, with two CRSI. So what we wanted to add for the ULIS systems were the ability to scale up depending on the, 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 the model that you were training or running inference on. So the, the ULIS range is the, is, um, it, we developed the ULIS range to be a storage server at first, but with the ability to change different CPUs and motherboards as well uh, from both platform for Intel or AMD's uh, platform. So for example, with, uh, with this kind of uh, storage capacity, you will be able to uh, differentiate yourself uh, depending on what you were training. Uh, for people working in computer vision, for example, if you are training, let's say, ResNet's um, uh, type of work workloads, you, you would need definitely a uh, number of cores would be important for you. That would not maybe be the case or more the case depending on the type of model that you're training for with, um, with uh, NLP for example, using BERTs. Um, memory as well would change. Uh, and, and with the ULIS range, this is the ability to give you exactly what you need, depending on what you are, what you want to be used with for. Um, here on, on, on this slides, what is interesting is to show how with this kind of configuration, people can scale up and scale out in their infrastructure by just stacking the different systems from one and another. At the end, what we are trying to do together is the ability as well to deploy it correctly and to cool it co properly. So for example, if you can see one um, M2000 machines is around 1300 um, uh, watts uh, to cool down. So when you achieve uh, the put 64, you reach, and, and with one petaflop per M2000 machines, at the end, you are building a super calculator in just one rack. And this is what we want to bring to, to, to the next generation AI data centers and, um, and clusters with uh, GraphCore is to, to have ability to, to have a super calculator in one rack and, uh, and with uh, the proper storage units and, the, and the, the proper IPU infrastructure, you, you achieve to, to do that. That's, that's how we foresee the future is having different clusters uh, with so much ca um, calculation power today, like having a HPC with sequential calculation CPU and maybe a GPU one and the IPU one to have everything you need in just uh, one data center room, for example. So this is this is our scale up um, uh, offer to, to, to the market today. So let's talk about in a second, talking about the, the different markets we, we're targeting with the IPs together with to CRSI. I think the very obvious one is, is data center and uh, internet application type of applications. There are not many hyperscalers like the Facebook or the Amazon of the world in, 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 in uh, in Europe in particular, but we, and, and we're probably not targeting together those companies, but there are many, people building um, uh, IPU, willing to build IPU-based um, cloud services. And, 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 and these are some, these are the people we, we after. Um, of course, um, higher education and research and government and building, of course, they're investing lots of money in, in, in the building some of the top 500 supercomputers of the world. And uh, this is something we are interested to go after together. Healthcare, of course, the COVID situation made uh, the need to use, to intensify the, 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 the research in, around uh, machine learning and for, for the drug discovery and, and even for, um, for, for, for um, patient diagnosis. Finance is, is something we're looking at as well. There's a, a more and more of uh, the, 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 some of the, the edge funds or the, 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 the quantitative um, uh, finance companies that are looking at uh, machine learning to uh, to predict what the, the, the stock markets are going to be and, and for and, and finally uh, in, in 
in the automotive space, uh, in particular with the autonomous driving um, area where you know, simulation and, and, and mapping are requiring significant um, cloud-based data center-based um, uh, compute. And, and all, all these, these, these markets are very, um, uh, uh, suit very well with the, the graph core um, strategy in terms of, of, of machine learning models, um, not only in the computer vision, but also in the, the natural language processing and in, in the in probabilistic models area. I think graph um, neural network are something very popular today. Um, uh, for example, where today with graph core, we are pursuing multiple opportunities, um, at least with to say so mainly in the healthcare business. Uh, both with uh, universities and researchers directly, um, usually like last time for for uh, DNA sequential se sequencing. Sorry, uh, it, 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 what was exactly the case where they were uh, doing uh, combining different graph uh, neural networks together, uh, using sometimes as well NLP uh, um, trainings on the side, and and instead of instead of having one or two iteration per year using the um, local uh, calculation center or the, uh, the university's um, capacities, at the end with one, uh, with, with one pod 16, they will have the ability to train the models, uh, maybe not every day, but at least much more uh, often uh, to, to, to be way closer to what we want to achieve in, in the near future. Uh, even on inference side, the, the, the performance side, way better than every machines that they can find in the market. And in today, for example, COVID situation is something that is so urgent that both people working on that matters um, needs the, the best hardware possible uh, in front of them. So today, healthcare is a, is a very hot topic. But uh, as uh, Fabrice say, on fine side, with uh, everyone's working on a Monte Carlo um, um, so, um, um, uh, sorry, use cases, uh, this is a hot topic as well. Um, and actually, the, the IPU, uh, I think, was the, the IPU architecture is just perfect for, for that kind of use case. If you have already tried Monte Carlo's on CPU and sequential calculation unit before, you definitely should try the, uh, on, on the IPU. Yeah. Thank you, Joseph. That, that, that's a good point because as I said earlier, we're doing remarkably well on the, 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 I would say the existing models um, based on some transformer or computer uh, CNN technologies and, and for computer vision of uh, natural language processing, but there's a next generation of models based on, on, on graph neural nets and uh, where we think that our architecture, which is you know fine grained and, and uh, highly parallel, uh, it's it's uh, makes a lot of sense for these these new type of models. And as I said earlier, this is really for the unknown that we think we, we, we could bring a lot of value in the, in the future. Um, and that's, a, that's an example I was discussing about the kind of the existing architecture where we do well. I think if this is an example where by you, you, you can train a, a, a pod 16, uh, using the pod 16, a, a, a BERT large model. BERT is the, let's say the, 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 the most famous um, natural language processing transformer based model today and and you know you you can train faster uh, than existing um, nvidia based uh, architecture even if to be honest transformer was developed that those models were developed on top of gpus or tpus type of, of architecture you can so you can think about you know the day people start um, developing on, on top of ipus the the, the, the the gain they could they could make and then and, uh, and, and GNN again is a graph neural right? net is a good example. Another um, example we're showing here is on a computer vision and the, those new kinds of uh, more efficient uh, computer vision models like efficient net and then again in that case we 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 train faster than the than the existing um, uh, um, NVIDIA based uh, systems. Um, 
we, we talked about um, um, training, but our architecture is, 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 is doing great for um, inference as well. And as I explained earlier, the reason is being that we have the memory um, stored on the chip so we can get much better throughput performance as well as uh, latency performance compared again to an existing um, NVIDIA based um, uh, component. Um, we talk a lot about software, but of course, GraphCore is, is, is also about software. Uh, um, equivalent to CUDA is, is named popular. And, and what from day one, what we, we tried is to make it as simple as possible in terms of, of ease of use for uh, the developers and, and the, the data scientists or the engineers using IPUs. And, and we support all the, um, yeah, the, 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 the the, uh, uh, the most uh, the, 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 the famous um, frameworks on, on, on the market. So ten, of course, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and the, and the Onyx, in the Paddle Paddle, and the, of course, we, we Keras. And, the, and, you know, we, we try to make it simple for people just, you know, build your model using those frameworks we have a then we can take the graph optimize it to in, in popular and make it fit nicely into ipus of course if you if you are a, a someone who likes to program at a very uh, low level you can you, you, we also have the tools to to, to allow you to, to to program on c++ or on python that's uh, that's that shouldn't be a problem so just uh, regarding uh, the software and the ability to to deploy your code on on the different frameworks. Um, today, what's interesting with GraphQL as well is the upcoming communities, which is drawing from the people who use this new technology. Again, it's interesting to work with um, with this uh, new manufacturer <laughs> out of the, out of the blue which is, I think, one of a century kind of company uh, that doesn't happen a lot uh, in the industry. And, and today we have a company with people who understand that they are bringing a new product uh, into life with, that completely change. It's kind of the same thing when scientists uh, chose to, to try out, uh, to deploy it on GPUs instead of CPUs. And they saw an acceleration here, they're gonna see something even else and, and so there is a growing community. And if you are open or if there are clients or, or integrators company, which are open to, to think differently or which are, sometimes they already foreseen the fact that they need something else. And, and usually this is a great time to try out the APU regarding GraphCore. A lot of people are there to, to, to help your developers uh, to, adapt, to adapt your code if it needs adaptation or to help you adapt uh, your mindset into this new parallel calculation kind of way. So not to be worried about uh, do I have to change everything or do, will, be, will I be stuck with uh, uh, another company? Um, you're not, you will not. Um, it's a very open community. Uh, not, there is no licensing requesting or I think like this, you, it's, um, everyone can be can go there and uh, be able to 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 take advantage of the numerous resources which are already available in the on the popular different gets um, and all with um, uh, graph course um, partners and and staff which are all very talented and high uh, skilled persons um, that can help you in uh, in in adapting. Every different infrastructure you already got, or every different code that you're already using, um, to to get the more performance out, out of the um, IPUs. And so, again, here, to say, a, a elite partner will be very glad to help you. Um, again, we are two CSI groups, so you can find out more as well with different parts of the of the group, like uh, Boston, for people who may know better. Um, which has already done uh, one excellent webinar, much more talking about the technology and, um, and use case in very high details uh, before. Um, I think it's the next slide, if I'm correct, Fabrice. Uh, yeah, here. 
So you can click on the link and you will be able to, to find out more about the different things you can, you can pursue using IPUs. Uh, we will do more as well in the, uh, in the, in the near future. Um, with um, with uh, graphical specialists, um, you have many. Uh, some specialized in NLPs, uh, in computer visions, MCMC, or like we said before, web graph neural network uh, with the OpenAI community. So again, feel free to uh, to apply or to to take a look at uh, the other contents that we published before. Okay, um, thank you, Joseph and Fabrice. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope thank it you. was uh, very useful thank to, you so to everybody. Um, we will now uh, take some time to answer a few questions. Uh, I see many questions coming in. So uh, like I said earlier, we may answer to some of them after the session by email, but uh, let's uh, answer a couple of questions now. So the first question we have here is maybe for Joseph. So. Um, so Tuzirasa is a French company. You are listed on the Paris uh, stock exchange market. Yes. You now have a global reach, but where are your servers designed and assembled? So again, part of the value to Tuzirasa is to um, doing things more responsibly. So um, at the end, it's something that we try to do with our, our machines uh, once they are deployed. But this is something we are trying to do as well for, for how we manufacture things. So uh, every to size servers is usually uh, manufactured as close as the customer is. So we are different um, integration and um, assembly line uh, in the world. The biggest uh, is uh, in France, in Strasbourg for the uh, European market. Um, but um, thanks to Boston's and to uh, another of the companies called Tranquil for, for edge computing devices, we also have a line in the UK uh, for mm -hmm. British uh, neighbors. Um, regarding North America, there is a line uh, which is the, at the Canadian border uh, in the you know, New York upstate. Um, there is a lot, another, um, two others in India, uh, Dubai, and uh, very soon in Asia as well. So again, the, we don't intend to become uh, the reverse of uh, China by exporting from one point. We think that it's uh, very important uh, from, from the environmental point of view and, uh, and, and actually be close to the customer's needs to, to, have, uh, to manufacture as close as we can to the different customers. Great, thank you. Um, then a second question maybe for Fabrice. I see a person who's pointing out that Google has already launched a similar technology called the TPU. Uh, so in the end, what's the real innovation with GraphCore's IPU? Well, um, TPUs are being developed by Google engineers to support some of their internal workloads clouds related to search and other Google-based applications. So it's really, first of all, is something, it's a product you can't sell um, and, and as a merchant product. Uh, so so uh, on the other hand, it's it's really, I mean, the, 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 the not a major differentiation between uh, GPUs and TPUs. It's, it's kind of matmol based um, architecture, probably coarser than the, on GPUs. Um, and the, and really, it's the innovation is 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 it's interesting, but compared to the architecture of, of a, 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 a a graph core um, uh, product, which is as I said, MMD architecture. Think about this compared to SIMD architecture for GPUs, TPUs. They, there's no major difference between um, a TPU and GPU at the end. I think that's uh, that's a fact. Okay, thank you. Um, we are now reaching the end of the session. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, more webinars are coming from 2CRSI and GraphCore. And if you want to learn more right now, as Joseph said, you can uh, check out the latest webinar organized by Boston, a company of the 2CRSI group, uh, Talesians and GraphCore on MIMD architecture and opportunities for AI and machine learning optimization in finance using IPUs. We put the link at the end uh, of the presentation. So thank you so much again. Stay tuned for uh, more webinars and enjoy the rest of your day.
Thank you. Thank guys. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for organizing this. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye.